I see myself as a Los Angeles-based visual artist. Um, also, I'm a figurative artist, so everything I, I do surrounds itself around the figure. So if it's painting or drawing a body or, or wrapping a body in something or painting on a body or documenting a body, it deals with human, human beings and, and human interactions. It's, it's, the work is constantly dealing with the figure. You know, I was an artist since I was a kid. I, I feel I was one of these that was just born to do it. it. I came out running. I was like, you know, by age five, I already had like an art exhibition. So it's, it's been this constant uh, creativity forever. So it's almost like I haven't known any other way. And one of my earlier influences was my father. He was a, a graphic designer at a record company. So I was, I grew up around vinyl. You know, that's where I learned color theory. I learned about color separations and you know five color print or three color print and all these like repetition and all these things that I learned er early foundation of real classically traditionally trained stuff was early you know just an early kid so of course I'm not thinking I'm getting this great education art education at the time but as I look back now I find that I still use a lot of those early references to um, create what I'm doing today. LA has been the basis for um, the creativity, so it's always been coming from a Los Angeles-based visual artist, so that's always been my, in, my output, my input and my output. I was never really influenced by art from different periods. Music has always been my greatest inspiration. I, music, uh, food, for instance, I like food and I like music. There's always been overlapping of projects, so there's never been a time where I have not been working on something. I'm constantly either in the midst of a project, finalizing a project, beginning a project, and it could be a uh, you know, very solitude type project, or it could be a collaboration type project. So things have different times, because something hits me. I hook up with people before we know it on the weekend, there's, there's a performance or a show. So it's the, the constant unknown, which to me is also exciting. I have the work that people are familiar with, like the photographs, like the pinups, like the stuff that's out there, the paper fashions, even the tattoo artwork. Uh, but there's also a lot of work that has not necessarily been revealed yet. Um, and it's not so much that I haven't revealed it yet, it just, they, it just falls into different categories. Um, and I think pattern is one of them, flowers. Uh, are something else that I do. I will say that I'm a closet case flower painter. Um, I use flower painting to, to ground myself. I know a lot of this other art can be pretty heavy, grueling, you know, exciting, emotional, all those fabulous things that come with uh, creativity. But uh, sometimes it gets a little too insane or too heavy or too strong or too nuts or the art world gets too crazy. So I find myself doing paintings such as the flower paintings to anchor me. And sometimes what happens there is I, I start playing with medium once again. It's taking it back to basics. It's working with form, shape, color, shade. The, I would say the traditional aspects of creating art. Um, and maybe that's why the stuff becomes so precious because I am dealing with strictly the process and what it takes to make a piece of artwork. I've just always created because I need, I need to create. I, I created for multiple reasons. You know, it could be an upcoming exhibition. It could be something that's stirring up in me that needs to get out. It could be something I needed to calm me down. Validating myself isn't something I've necessarily been real concerned about. But when I do get involved in certain projects where I realize people are really paying attention, and very much aware of stuff that I've done over the years. It's a, it's a pretty interesting place to be.